today we're gonna to be watching the Milwaukee finals of the regional that just took place this past weekend. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch this match in depth, but I did see the result of it. Um, so I mean, we're watching a review. Spoilers, obviously. So congratulations to Ibar for winning that. Um, yeah, like uh, like last week, um, we're just gonna go through each game twice from each player's perspective. We're gonna watch from their perspective, evaluate, and do analysis on their game. Um, we might reference the other player for context, but uh, we're going to focus on that one person for that watch through. And then we're going to go back and do the same for the other player. And we're going to go through all the games in the match. Um, yeah, uh, let us take a look at our match. Uh, so we've got Ibar on the left and Don on the right. Uh, the finalists from this uh, Wisconsin tournament. Just some notes uh, from what I did see. It was pretty, uh, pretty good. It was a pretty uh, stacked tournament, actually. <laughs> we had Floyd, we had Rodzilla. Uh, obviously, these two players were here as well. So there was a lot of people, uh, um, a lot of known names, and also uh, some of the unknowns that were in this tournament also looked pretty impressive. I think a lot of them have joined the Discord since uh, since this past weekend. So hopefully, we'll see more of them. Uh, that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, always love to see new people entering the community, uh, trying to. Uh, shake things up and disrupt the status quo of the of the the, uh, the tournament scene always love that the pride the bragging rights down Milwaukee in three, three two, two one, one. Pair. Right, we're watching from Ibar's side oh, to start let's just pause right here so uh first move we've got um the double red coming up here uh yeah so there, there's two clear moves that pop off to me right off the bat um we've got the vertical red situation right here um that's obviously uh, not really setting up a combo or anything like that but it doesn't block anything it keeps the reds group together um the other thing that stands out to me is uh this move right here um uh, just because you have these two yellows that are uh technically not connected but they're still they still form a horizontal setup and if you can get the horizontal here then the uh, it, you're setting up for a combo this way. This is really the only move I can see that sets up for any kind of combo or anything like that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably the move that I would do if I was gonna play this opening move here. Uh, yeah, so this is the move that I would play. Let's see what these guys do. Oh. And yeah, that's the move that Ibar's gonna play. Uh, he got a combo there. I actually didn't even see that. Wow, hold on a second. What in the world? <laughs> I first I thought he was I was gonna say he didn't have uh he didn't make much of a move there, but he ended up doing this. Oh and yeah, no, he does actually end up getting it. Sorry, I don't know how I missed that. So he's gonna put this uh yellow, he's gonna put it right here in this spot and it's gonna drop the reds down. Okay, makes sense. We'll talk about what Don did uh, in this end game in this opening a little earlier, but he's gonna get the first combo. Getting really messy for Ibar now. This is kind of crazy. So now he has like no real like he has this blue yellow set up here now. But beyond that, this red garbage I think is about to fall and make him a, a set up here in columns three and four. But um, it was really dicey there for a bit. He I, the first combo was great, but then after that things kind of just petered out. I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, I don't know if it was we, we can go back and look at it, but I just want to let this play through a little further. Nice. He actually ended up taking a triple there. That's cool. There's up his center a bit. And a triple by Zon and Ibar up. Have a lot of action. That garbage is really an issue for him now. Get the knockdown. Get the yellows to get rid of it though. Another yellow just drops it right back there. No room for it this time. Well there there is. Sloping board though, right to left. That's not the best situation, but I'll still take that over Ibar's board. Ibar, oh, oh the quick cop out punch. Very rare cop out for Ibar. Cop out there, Jesus. Okay, well, uh, wow, that was a quick game actually. Um, he just after that first combo, things just got kind of out of hand. I kind of want to go back and see sort of what happened here from part of this because. 
nothing like this was a good combo and things start to look up here this garbage uh this yellow garbage kind of almost gives him a little color diversity not too bad this could set up some horizontal ideas it's a matter of the placements he made yeah like there's just nothing going on here i don't know it doesn't seem like don had this problem so i'm not really interested to see how he played it because i can't really figure out what uh did so differently like this whole part all looks great Maybe he should have tried to go for this blue horizontal sooner. Might have cleared things up a little bit, even things out. Be clear what I'm talking about when we get back here. He gets this. He has this yellow blue pill here now, right? So even though this is kind of like a rough placement that he can do here, maybe it would have been better if he had just done like yellow blue right here in the spot. Click clear this out. It does it's obviously just a safety move. It doesn't make a combo or anything like that. But uh it would sort of help to bring things down a little bit and it would it's a pretty efficient clear all things considered um and uh maybe it would give him some diversity to start making some doubles so that he can start to come back he might have like a blue yellow setup after this something like that or like i guess this blue will fall down here so it'll be like a yellow blue setup uh this after this blue garbage falls down and then maybe he can start making some uh some moves from there also this red blue uh situation here he will be eliminated. He'll get like a blue red setup going. That's an option. Because, I mean, you can clear this yellow away and that's cool, but then you have no more places to put yellows. That's not really great. So I don't I don't really know if, if that would be better, but that's the only thing that sticks out in my mind is something you could possibly do here. Keep looking though. So he gets this garbage too. After that garbage too, it's even more appealing, I think, to make the moves that I was talking about. But now he's just got like, just like and empty clearing point. yellows, and trying to keep up. Oh, Don just keeps the pressure on him here. I guess the biggest issue is just that there's no like, um. There's like no real opportunities for him. He's not really going for opportunities for combos. He's just trying to survive. Um, and he's not applying pressure back. That's really the problem. He actually missed dropped here. He could have saved this. But even then, I don't know how he continues from there. Anyway, let's see how Don played this. Does Don take the same opening? Sort of, yeah. He tuts it on the other side, but it's essentially the same move as this. Maybe almost better because he's prioritizing the edge, which is uh, which is nice. But uh, beyond that, I don't. Uh, it's basically the same move. But uh, obviously, he. When I looked over here while we were evaluating Ibar, he seemed to come out of the opening way stronger. So I'm interested to see what he did here. Just gets his red yellows and just makes an easy double stack, I guess. That makes sense. That's a pretty standard move. It looks like he's gonna maneuver this blue yellow over to put it here so he can complete the uh he can complete this um uh horizontal and then this double yellow will finish it, but maybe he'll hold out to actually make a combo out of it. Let's see. Take it. Just like that. Uh this is a combo opportunity, but his board's pretty clean as opposed to like this situation here where Ibar's already got some issues going on. He'll get a red yellow combo there. First blood and you know not great places for these pills, so the players gotta get creative. He takes this horizontal that I mentioned. He takes a double. Yeah, I mean he's really just keeping it simple. I think maybe Ibar tried to do some things a little too fancy here. Instead of just taking the obvious moves. And a triple by Zon and Ibar And I assume it just goes from here, like yeah. Snowballs from this point forward. You see a lot of games that that end up going like this. Uh, we did, we saw them like that last week. Betty would get these great starts that that really snowball. It's real so difficult to come back from that. I think that's something I've been trying to figure out is uh, how to recover from uh, lo sort of losing quote unquote the start of the game. Because if you 
get into this kind of a situation, like even if Ibar doesn't die here, he like how do you come back from this? What does winning the game from that position even look like? I have no idea. I just want to go back once more, even though we've looked through both these games are pretty quick. I want to see. Because Don had like these red yellow placements at the start that were just very obvious, like this. What did he do with those pills? Away we go. Here. Yeah, he did this drop thing. Like he was so obsessed with this combo here. This double this yellow setup. He kind of tunnel vision and he just totally missed the fact that he could put the red yellows like this. And this ends up creating a red piece of garbage, and I think that's all it really takes. Like it's the red yellow here. He can use the yellow blue here after. And that's fine. Like he'll get a con he'll get the first combo, but from here there's like nothing really for him to do. Yeah, and then it just sort of snowballs from there. Maybe he can get like a yellow horizontal situation. But he just goes for the double. And then doesn't really get any yellows to clear this out. And then, oh, this yellow, that double yellow definitely should have been here. I can't believe I missed that. A double yellow he just had. Let me go back. Plays this and then this double yellow. He's going to play this right here. Which, you know, makes sense. Open up the double the horizontal, I guess. But the real issue is, like, he needs to start pressuring back. So he should just take the combo here, I think. I think that just makes a lot more sense. Take this combo. It dumps a little garbage over here. Hopefully blocks off an opportunity to give you some breathing room so you don't just get comboed back immediately. And then maybe this uh, double blue can go after this is cleared away. Maybe this double blue gets to go, like, here. Then he gets this horizontal cleared out. And now he's sort of maybe back in action a little bit. Or even better, he could even just put it here, and then if he ever gets a yellow blue, he's got a setup ready to knock down right on right up here. Yeah, so I think it was just sometimes it's just small things like that that really put you behind, um, and it's really hard to see in the moment until you go back and look at it. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't even uh, really know how you would uh, like. You just have to train yourself. There's really no good advice on how to see that in the moment compared to you know. Obviously, having the benefit of being able to pause and really think about it and having all the time in the world to consider your options. At the end of the day, Don just keeps his board cleaner. And, and even though Ibar's going for combos uh, and he's getting there a little faster than Don, the, the, the cost to his board health is just too great. And, I mean, Don is getting great garbage too, let's be fair. But he, he's able to continue to get these lucky garbages because he kept things clean in the opening also probably playing a little bit faster but i think that first red yellow mistake was really the beginning of, of everything here for that for for what happened in this game absolutely right to left that's not the best situation but i've still sad thanks for doing cool things sadly i'm driving <laughs> thanks exact same appreciate that okay anyway that's game uh one i think that's pretty clear cut it's just a small mistake from my bar in the beginning that led to uh, a chain re sort of a chain reaction of issues uh, that uh, his board health was just never able to recover from, unfortunately. But we'll continue on here. We'll go to the next one. Beverage break. Players ready. Three, two, one, pills. Oh, I totally missed that first. Uh... That first pill there. Sorry about that. Let me go back. Average <laughs> break. Players ready. Three, two, one, pills. Okay. So I, I, technically you saw the moves, but I thankfully missed it. I don't know how that happened. Um, but let's uh look at this. So blue, red. The first move that immediately sticks out to me is definitely like this right. Nope. Sorry, not that one. Blue, red, like this. Um. Just gives you a blue red setup uh there's really no other place on this board that looks anywhere halfway decent this is just kind of the clear opening move i would say and i won't be surprised if both of these guys end up uh end up doing that whoa 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 whoa! they both not only did they neither of them do that they both did the same thing that's wild hold on a second hold on a second shoot 
they both go for that really that's interesting to me red blue like this hmm i just don't see where this goes I, maybe we should just keep watching but that's so interesting i guess i mean if anything you, or maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong maybe they put it the other way which makes a little more sense blue red like this just because if these yellows go away you can get something down the line but even then, that's so far ahead from now. I don't know if I'm into that idea. Um, let's just keep playing it. Let's see how Ibar does this. Because they both... Oh, sorry. Let me just clear this off. They both make the same move. They actually play the same first two moves. The blue-yellow, I get that. That makes sense. He's trying to get the horizontal, especially now that they've done this. And no, they did blue on the right on this first pill. This is wild. I can't wait to see how this opening plays out here. Yeah, I mean, ends up happening, and then you can see Don's got a misdrop. It's probably gonna kill him very quickly. But like, surely there's that. Surely you don't do that, right? I mean, surely that's not the move. I would think. Let's see here, because like, how many blue reds do you get after that? Yeah, you would have two blue reds. Like, you get three blue reds very quickly, so you can just. We go back to the opening, knowing you're gonna get those blue reds. There's that's why you have to make that move. Three, two, one, pill. Like, let's go back. If you do that, if you just go blue red here at the opening, you'll get the two others, and then you get blue red, blue red, and then you have a combo very quickly. And if the other person makes the move that both of these guys made, they're they're not gonna get first combo. And if they get blocked in a horrible spot, that could be huge. That could be the opening you need. Uh, I yeah I don't see I'm pretty convinced this is correct I don't know why both players I'd love to know if the thought process behind that because obviously they both did the same thing <laughs> so uh, I'm really curious maybe yeah I don't know I don't know I would make this move every time I can't I don't know I don't really understand the thought process behind doing it what they did so yeah that's very strange I'd, maybe it's just a mistake but uh, if there was some sort of thought behind this opening move, I would love to know what it is. Or it does get a sweet triple at the start, but yeah, I think taking the quick double in that spot would have been better, honestly. Double blue is a weird choice. I wonder if there was something... What a complex combo. Well, I'm not sure if that was all planned, but damn, it looked good. 47-49, close game. Ivar with the early lead. Which this garbage still has combo opportunity there. Nice clear from Ivar. Easy. Yeah. Now Ivar comes out of this real good. Oh, and then. It's kind of the same thing that we saw last game, but in reverse. And he tops it very, very quickly. Okay, let's... That was a quick one. We can delve into this a bit more. Don. Oh, Don's here. Awesome. I think next pill being blue, yellow influenced it. Yeah, but surely you're not reacting that quickly, are you? Like, you guys just went right out of the gate, and you both played that. Let me go back and we'll see, like... If I can get that far back. Yeah, you paused a little bit. Teddy B says, "Oh my God, I missed a half hour of this." No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's only, we're still watching game two. They were really quick games, so this hasn't even been half an hour yet. Technically, I didn't start till like seven forty after my little intro and all that. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Miss Drop and Greed got me the two games. Yeah, well, I we we'll see that in a second. We haven't watched your. I'm also a very slow player comparatively. If you watch the speeds, I'm usually 20 pills behind. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I haven't really gotten into that yet, but uh, it's hard to really analyze that too because it's like, well, if you're slower, you're slower. I mean, there's not really any analysis I can offer there other than go quicker, <laughs> be see the setup faster. Like, I don't, you know, there's not really much to talk about there. Obviously, you know, I definitely believe that pace of play is super important. I just... If I'm doing one of these, I can't really comment on that. Like, there's not really any insight to give there other than 
do better. Like, <laughs> yeah, get good. Like, that's not helpful to anyone. So, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, but yeah, but you're so you said that like seeing yellow blue influenced you to do this. But at the same time, like this play that you made, if I can go forward a little bit when you make this play, I mean, you're putting it on top of a yellow blue. Like this is where you'd want the yellow blue to go, I would think. Like you want to put the yellow blue in this spot here instead of where like exactly where you're putting that red blue. So even if you know this is coming, I don't really see the benefit of this. Like, yeah, I mean, yes, you can put it in column two, three for sure. But if you had put the blue red in three, four, as I had said, as I had suggested, then yellow blue can go in this spot. I think the misdrop here was supposed to be the other way around and make a bracket. Um. Not sure. And maybe you're talking about a future move. I'm not exactly sure. But uh yeah, and then Ivar, you guys both don't even do that blue yellow in two three. You guys go this way, three four. You really want to make that horizontal, I guess. I think that's maybe a little fancy to do at the top. In like four pills from now. Mist drop here was supposed to be the way around to make a bracket. Well, I mean this is clearly a mist drop here that you didn't you surely you meant to like stack this up <laughs> here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely not great. Again, the only analysis I can provide is don't do that. Put the pill where you meant to put it. Like, <laughs> that's obviously not good. Um, it's gonna, like, obviously it makes this move even worse because now you have a misdrop on it. But even if you had dropped it correctly, these reds don't contribute. These reds would not contribute to a call, like a combo or anything like that. Um, it would, uh, you know, this doesn't lead anywhere to me. Especially when there were just simpler moves. Like, if you look back in the first game, you won because you avoided a move like this that Ibar did, and you just played like a double stack, uh, basic double stack setup to get to the first combo. And if you just done that here, maybe this game would have been completely different. I'm saying this should have been a blue red, not red blue stacked in the same column. You mean the way that I had talked about, where the blue, the first blue red was flipped the wrong way. Maybe that's the thing to say then. Love simpler setups reign supreme. Um, in the opening, I would say, yeah. But uh, I mean, there's getting complex, seeing complex setups and finding complex solves is definitely important too. Especially the further into the game you get, when garbage starts to, to do its thing. Don says it's not the case. In that case, I'd, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, obviously this misdrop is the beginning of the end. Yo, Packy in the chat. Let's go. Regional analysis. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's keep watching from here. Uh, if the yo, my, my video just paused there. VLC is not the best for this, actually. Let's see. I'd almost rather watch this in the web player to avoid that whole problem. So that happens. You take your, your uh, horizontal. Maybe you should have held it for a combo. That might have been better. But obviously, you're very flustered after this misdrop. Like that move to take your center down. Got a nice setup here. Unfortunately, it gets blocked. Yeah, this is sort of where the snowball begins. That was a sweet. Uh, that's a quad, is it not? Nice quad though. But your board health is just shambles now. But you're doing well considering. Because this misdrop again just continues to, to fester into this horrible situation on the right side. Now he is, and Ivar obviously is free reign to just combo out on you. And if you can't combo him back, uh, that's bad news for you. Oh boy. This is a this is a wacky. Uh, that blue red, I'm sure, was a mistake. I don't think you actually meant to do that. I think you probably meant to put a horizontal, just a misplit. Yeah. So, again, I, I think that the opening. I feel like the opening is so important. That's why I, I want. I like to take a lot of time to analyze it because when you have uh, a small mistake at the beginning that leads into something like what happened to Don in this game. Like it, it can it makes it can make or break the match, especially in these live regionals. Like online, we always play on medium, and obviously that's for latency reasons because it's just a little easier to play under latency when you have when you're on medium. But in live tournaments, we're playing on high, and it's obviously you start at a much higher speed in that opening, which changes things a lot. 
it makes these kinds of mistakes way more damaging and way more punishing. Um, and we, we saw it last week too, honestly, in the, in the Kentucky regional, that happened a lot where someone made an early mistake or got an early piece of garbage that, that really put them in a bind or ruined their plans. And then it was just really difficult to recover from there. It's not impossible, obviously, um, cause we've seen that too, but, uh, yeah, like you just uh, see this a lot more in these live tournaments, I think when we're playing on high, obviously you have a lot more control and we're playing on CRTs, it's lag free. I think it's it's more fun, but if you're used to playing online on medium speed, um, these sorts of situations might not even seem like that bad, but on high, it, it, change, it really does change everything. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, that was game two. That was also pretty quick, so now it's one to one. We'll go to the next game here. All right, yellow, blue to start. Let's see. Uh, the, I mean, the, the first move that sticks out to me is this. That's kind of the obvious one set up for a double. Doing the other way leads to like an un, like if you were to go this way, it's an uneven stack. So I don't love this move. Definitely want to hang it over like this so that you can uh, go for a combo. Also, you can go for a combo this way as well. But uh, either way, it's, they're both yellow blue setups, so it doesn't matter. You might want to leave this blue red. You have a sick blue red setup that you leave open here. So you definitely don't want to put it the other way like this because uh, now you've messed up your setup here. It leaves you with nothing. It's actually a huge difference. Um, other considerations, maybe, nope, <laughs> maybe a tuck like, oh, nope, maybe a tuck like this. You could consider that and then maybe you can do some kind of weird like E with the blues. But I think, again, in the opening, I love keeping it simple. That's sort of my thing. Keep it simple, get a quick get a quick combo before the other person puts any garbage on you. Get that early advantage and keep it rolling. Um, so that's probably the move I would put. One. You could also tuck, I guess, under like this. Uh, nope. Tuck like this. Uh, that's also not bad, but the tuck is a little slower, so I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to just uh, keep it on top, just so you can get to the next pill more quickly. Yes, method. Exactly, Betty. Keep it simple in that opening. Just get to that first combo as quick as you can. It's not always going to be this simple. Some openings are really tough, but uh, sometimes the game just makes things easy for you. So you shouldn't try to make it more complicated than it needs to be. Okay. They both make that move. It was already set up. He'll choose to block this off to get a combo. I actually don't hate that. It even... He gets lucky and it leads into another one. That could have been dangerous, though, for sure. Set up. Fortunately, I feel like this was maybe a misdrop, but he gets a combo out of it. Now he's really looking to get this blue horizontal cross. He will get it to get this combo. This is like, uh, I don't know about going over here. I feel like you should just get this sorted out but i guess he had a combo set up so he just chanced it if that ever if that had gotten blocked i just want to go back actually real quick on that um, he's just clearing this out and that's fine i guess i guess he's clearing it out but if this if if this had ever if this had gotten blocked while he's going for it then that would have been really dangerous I, but i guess anything that gets blocked here is really bad for him and he's got the early advantage so probably fine um so he just, uh, if he had gotten a red-blue, that would have been sick. To put a red-blue just like right here, right on this spot here. That would have been awesome. That would be a quad. But he just takes his triple with his double-blue. That's probably correct anyway. Watch it fall one more time. Goes there. He's got some great setups here. This red kind of ruins it a bit. He's gonna go for this instead. I agree with that. Oh, nice! That's, that worked out perfectly. And honestly, he's just so uncontested at the moment. Trying his best. He's going a little slower just to not break his setup, which is fine. The only thing I don't love about this is that if Don was able to combo him, it would it could be any kind of garbage here. This is really seems really susceptible. It could be a, a big issue. Um, 
we'll see what he if if he could have done that. Or go back and review his side. Taking easy combos. I mean, if I'm I bar in this spot, like if I'm I'm in this spot and I just like in the middle of drop time and I glance over and I just see this. I just see this general shape of a mix of colors at the top of the screen. I'm probably going to prioritize comboing at this point just to try to end this quickly. Uh, it's so hard to come back from this anyway, but like, um, it's again, especially against good players, it's not impossible. So, uh, that's that. That's I don't know if that's what he's thinking here. He seems to just be sort of doing his game. It's not like a huge deal. You're probably in the, once you're at this point going to win anyway. But I mean, if Don can find a combo here, if he gets a double red, gets this T in this spot, like if he, if he could, if he ever gets like a red like this and then a, you know gets like blue yellow into blue yellow up here and he goes like it's like blue yellow clearing this and then blue yellow like up here uh, now he's got a combo and he's cleared out of center and maybe this garbage blocks like that's sometimes that's how it takes to come back so you should never let up even if you're in a position where you're really far ahead um don't let up on combos because it doesn't uh it doesn't take much for you to get back into the game good players will do that to you if you let let your guard down for sure what is happening hey look he got the move i said and then he got a charity combo <laughs> and now he's going to make another t and now our going to start getting stun locked here because he's ahead anyway uh we're analyzing high bar's game here he finally gets out of the stun lock that was a nice find. And I want to go back to that. That was huge. Wow, what a setup. He has an L, and then these blues will just come down onto the double blues down here. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. I didn't. I would never have seen this. That's so nuts. But uh, that was sick. I. I don't. I think maybe he's gonna put a blue yellow here. He probably should have just taken the combo right now as soon as possible. But. Either way, well done. That's a great setup. I love that. Oh, and it made a big L. Oh my god. I don't know how much of that was planned, but <laughs> that's crazy. Gonna make a lot of drop time on this combo, but sometimes it's just what you have to do. And again, he's very far ahead, so can probably afford it as long as he's putting combos down that's fine makes a t that's a good fine that's something uh this is a general note before we keep going that is something that i've honestly tried to work on myself i don't think i go for t's very often but especially when the game's giving you a lot of the same color t's are great like they're they only they use technically one less pill half than like a double stack would you can make it out of almost any pieces uh of the same as long as one half is the color you're going for and it can leave garbage behind, but it can also set up for other combos as well. So T's are just great. And uh, if you can't make progress on the board and you just need to make a combo as soon as possible, just look and see if maybe there's a T setup you can do or a cross or an L or something like that. Uh, they're 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 in, in verses. I feel like they're really underrated. Um, but like you saw I bar just then. Let me go back if I can. He just like didn't really have a noticeable T setup to speak of. And he just kind of made his own. I think I might have gone back a little too far. Yeah, he did that. He makes this. And then this, he's just left with this. these two yellows here. And this yellow virus over here. And he and like, that would be really hard for him to go, you know what, I should make a T here. Uh, but he doesn't really have, like, he has like a yellow-blue setup here on the left. He might have a red-blue setup over here on the right. But if you just get a bunch of yellow pieces and you don't want to do this yellow-blue, especially if you get like a double... Because this yellow red has nowhere else to go, so he just makes this, and then he has another yellow red with nowhere else to go, so he just puts sets there setting up for the T. Oh, I'm sorry about the video looking so messed up. And then this yellow blue can come, but he wants to finish the T setup now, so he goes like this. He sets up here, and then yeah, now he just gets a T. And then this quad comes. If he hadn't done that and he had just tried to make weird, like way worse moves, tried to make a weird double setup somewhere, or just make it, you know make a trash pile and blocked off something else that quad could have been really damaging like that's that's the power of t's if you're getting pills then you're like oh i don't really have any obvious move for this 
You could honestly try just building your own tea out of nowhere. Like, he didn't really have much to start with. And he even got a virus clear. But even if he hadn't, even if it was just an empty tea, like, that's not horrible. You get a combo out of it. It might be your fastest path to a combo in a lot of cases. So definitely something to look out for. Well done on that one. I love that shrug. <laughs> he just gets the hell anyway. The yellow garbage falls here. He's like, oh, whatever. And then he gets his double yellow, yellow blue to just get a, a drop L after that. Love to see it. That's another fortunate blue. Man. That's an unfortunate miss drop on his part. He's committing to trying to knock it down horizontally, uh, vertically. Is he going to go for this? No. The garbage is not going to let him even attempt that. Yeah, that missed drop is really bad. He's gonna, and, but he's gonna find a way to sort of knock it down. It's still not great though. I think at this point, luckily Don is at, still at the top of the screen, and it's just not gonna be as punishing as it could be. But difficult to deal with. I wonder. I wonder if he'll use this double yellow to try to like start knocking this down horizontally, just because there's not. I mean, he could also put it maybe down here like this. But he could even consider going like something like that, like this. And then he would have a yellow set up here. Or he could even put it like this uh, so that he could get... And that would actually be great. That would be a combo setup. That's actually a much better move uh, than what I did. Because now a yellow-blue lets him just go like this. And now he's going to clear this and make a combo. And he's going to reduce his stack. Uh, he also kind of has the option maybe on this double yellow to go like this. Which is okay, but... I mean, it doesn't make a combo. It doesn't contribute to a setup. It's just kind of an empty clear, and he has way more potential, especially given that he needs to address these this right side for sure uh, because he's otherwise just going to be cut off. Oh no! Oh no, Ibar. That's something definitely to consider. You can't be missing stuff like that. This yellow blue has got to go right here, just like we talked about. You set up Horde and everything. And and then, uh, you, well, you got a double, but like this is so much better to just go for this. Because if you take the blue yellow the other way, you take the blue yellow like this, or nope, <laughs> like this way. The pro like you now lose your platform for this horizontal and now this right side is just horrible. And you, you're really you have like almost nowhere to maneuver. Not that this would like greatly open your board to do that, but uh you gotta take these opportunities when you can get them. Then maybe you get a double yellow when this all falls down. Maybe you'll get a double yellow you can put in here, take another row down, and just go row by row until you can uh until you can sort of address this, because you gotta do something. Maybe you'll end up getting other ways to address it later, maybe you'll you know, we'll see. Maybe we're looking too far into the future yet, but uh, yeah, you know, I just don't agree with that. That's for sure. Can't be missing moves like that. Oh no! I think it's possible. Every single piece he will get his yellow reds. Thankfully, can you imagine if he didn't? That would be horrendous. But he's finding some combos. He's gonna find this T setup. Blue falls. He's gonna use the double blues here. Yeah. Oh no! What a misdrop. That's really unfortunate. And now he has nowhere to go. He will finally find that though. Oh, that's amazing. Very well done. That was tough. Speed 48 uh, is a joke. Let me just go back and see. Where did he even get this from? It was like that. This is the blue. And he misdrops there. How did this even get knocked down? Oh, he gets a double yellow and a double red. That's that is pretty lucky, to be fair. <laughs> that that he got those that sequence when he needed it, and it's a good thing that he saw this because if he had not done this, like I I don't see him winning this game. That's a huge save on his part.
clock thing. This is Blue, he's just gonna very, very bad. I mean, it's amazing gameplay, but the situation is it's amazing how this right side is still uh, well set up she is. Bar, nails it down. He's ahead in virus camp, but he's so far behind at this spot. But he's slowly working on it. Survival mode on both sides. This is championship quality gameplay here. This is a note. He had seen a little faster. These double yellows. That would have been a sick TU. Yeah, double yellow, double yellow. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then the reds would fall, and you'd get uh, you'd get a, a, another combo after that. You get a triple. Oh, I, we take that all day. It's hard to see this, but you can see in the next box. So it's it's definitely fi findable. But uh, yeah, obviously speed fifty in the finals of a tournament not the easiest thing to find. But uh, double double pills especially. Always look for horizontal and T setups that you can do whenever you get these because they're the rarest pill in the game and they're the most powerful for exactly this reason. And sometimes the game will just give you multiples in a row because NES just rolls like that. So it's totally something to, to keep in mind. Um, not something to just discard as some unlikely cir circumstance because it happens way more often than you think. Uh, doing something like this... Um, oh, I think you'd just get like a, maybe a double out of it, but the T would have been so clean. That would have been really swag. I wish we had seen that, but uh, I digress. Here. That he's just going to put them off to the side. Like this just, gums, this just gums up your columns. You don't necessarily want that. And then we get no combo out of it at all, it looks like. You see our speed guide over well, he right was pretty right upset there. I wonder if he saw it too late. Yeah, his board would have been way cleaner if he had made that move. Finds an L though, so that's good. He took my advice. <laughs> that's a nice find too. Sea of garbage finds another L setup. He's really learning his lesson here. That's crazy. Is he gonna set up for a drop? Yep. That's gonna be a quad. This is a note, Bidwell, a commentator. I don't know if you heard that in the background. I have it kind of faded a little bit because I don't want it to be too loud, especially if I'm talking while the recording is playing. But uh, he said that it's crazy that Don came back from 30 virus, being down like 30 viruses. Uh, obviously, Ibar, you know, made some mistakes and could have uh, cleaned things up better. But honestly, if it's not that unreasonable. It's not the most unheard of thing ever to... Uh, um, to make a comeback like that, just to be clear, like the way the game is set up, if you're way ahead, like Ibar was, and you're way at the bottom of the screen, and you have a long drop time every time you get garbage, it's so much easier to stun lock you, and the other player can easily come back if uh, they get the right pills and they and they're not like in a really bad spot board health wise. That's I obviously you know we're commentating, we like to make things exciting. Uh, I'd probably say the same thing. I'd probably make a big deal out of it. But from an analysis perspective, just to be clear, like don't feel like that's some unattainable thing that only really, really good players can do. <laughs> that's why Versus is similar to tennis. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's the most complete analogy. I'm not really, but I, I get what you're saying, definitely. <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, like the virus count almost is almost irrelevant. It's way, board health is way more important. Like just the numbers at the top of the screen you shouldn't let that bother you. The board health is the the most important thing in terms of gauging who is ahead and who is behind. Because Ibar has been at like set, I think he was at eight viruses and he's made it down to seven, but he's been at this like seven to eight viruses for a long time that we've been watching here, and it's just because his board health has been terrible. So in a case like that, it might be seven to thirty, but if Don has more viruses exposed, then he's gonna close that gap really quickly. John, I remember I was in a game, a game I was like 30 viruses ahead and got a long stun lock in the middle and was topped out. Anything is possible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not even necessarily because you could get topped out, but you could just get, if you even have one virus left, if that virus is completely buried under mountains of garbage, then who cares? I'd take 20 garbage free viruses over one buried one any day because the virus, the like the viruses are set up in such a way that like you can probably clear them pretty you know they're, they're they're they have the chance of being doubled up. They're not usually that popcorn, but um, garbage uh, can be 
really difficult uh, to, to clear, especially when it's completely random. So, yeah, that's the only thing I wanted to mention here. Like, don't worry about, uh, uh, you know, um, comebacks are not that difficult to do. They aren't easy either. I'm not trying to downplay, oh, yeah, just come back. Like, what are, what are you talking about? But uh, if, if the other player stumbles uh, and if they stop comboing, especially when they get towards the end of their level and they're thinking about their end game, a lot of people will uh, sort of forego combos. And that's sort of the other side of the coin. If, don't do that because that's how people will come back on you. You have to maintain your combos no matter how far ahead you are. Otherwise, comebacks like this can happen. Um, and then obviously in the reverse position, you know, you just even if you feel like things are not going to work out, uh, if you feel like you don't see yourself winning, just keep playing. Yeah, your opponent might end up beating you out and you might end up not quite making the comeback, but you have to play to your outs. You have to try to go for it because it's not impossible by any means. Anyway, let's let's continue on. Oh, sorry. I was going to comment on something, actually. <laughs> so right here, what happened? Did he get garbage in that spot? Did it put that setup away from him? What just happened? Oh, he just took this combo. Okay, I saw like the horizontal blue into the reds. I thought I mean, that was was going to happen, but he just plays it, uh, plays it slow. Okay, I think That's a nice find, though. Sweet combo. Has a path now, at least to the right side. The left side will be next. Both players have to worry about both sides. I don't think this is the first end game that we've gotten to take a look at. Ibar's going to find this combo here, I would imagine. Oh. And things are sort of starting to come back to parity as Ibar's getting some footing, clearing things out, and sending some garbage back, stun locking Don a little bit. So, yeah, that's the other thing. It swings both ways. Like, there's momentum is a thing in this game. Wow, he's just, wow, he actually has an out to get these viruses now. If he can clear these reds out and then get a yellow in there. Oh, it blocks him. That's so unfortunate. You really need this double red to come down, clear this out. And if he'd even been able to pill faster, that garbage would have fallen into place and he gets rid of these double reds and he's that much closer. Um, I know we're looking at Ibar's screen here, but on Don's side, um, these double reds are still kind of an issue. He honestly might have to go for them horizontally at this point. Um, clear these yellows out and then just try to get these two horizontally because this vertical stack is just a mess. Unless you get like the double yellow, double blue, blue red situation and then the perfect pills to just clear this mess out, it's never going to happen. And that's just not to say of any garbage and like fall in the middle of trying to do that. So I don't think, uh, I don't think you uh, really want to uh, approach this any other way. I guess it really depends what pills you get. And, uh, you know, you'll have some time as you deal with this side to figure out what you want to do here. But, yeah, I mean, overall, he's really come back. Like, Ibar's board is in no means in a good spot. Um, and games like this can get really scary where both players can just freeze the other player for, like, six seconds at a time. Um, but, uh, and so that, I mean, Ibar's not out of it yet. He has way more combo potential, certainly, than Don does. He has, like, no setups almost anywhere on the field. Um, so he's going to have to try to manufacture those uh, to keep Ibar at bay. But um, Ibar is way more set up to sort of just put garbage down on, on Dawn. And if, if, uh, if any more garbage falls in these columns here, then getting these reds is, just becomes very difficult again. So he's not out of it by any means. <laughs> nice. Lucky block there. That was sick. Oh, Don gets his yellow block here. He's like, darn. Yeah. Because he was presetting up the second red as well. But he's got it back. Just wants his yellow red here. Brilliant move by Don for that double setup, like you like you noticed, Valley. He's going to attempt to clear because he's just. Oh, he didn't get it? Okay, I think he just made a mistake because he took it right after. That makes sense. 
Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. I didn't even see that endgame. Holy crap. Let's go back. That was wild. What happened there? So he takes this combo. That's fine. Oh, of course. He'll get the double blue, and then the blue will just fall. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how long he saw that for. Is that just his plan on that side? I think I was just saying how bad his endgame looked compared to Don's, but like the problem is Don's got he need, he's he's like got a really split board. He's gonna get sunlocked. This garbage really messes with him. Yeah, he must have seen this coming from a mile away because he's really drilling for it. And it's totally insulated from garbage. He just needs to clear this red and then put a blue behind it. Wow, and I think he does. Oh no, he puts it on like that. He probably should have just dropped it down. But wow, that's a crazy find. What an amazing end game play from Ibar. That's huge. He find Don. The only reason Don really lost here is just because he was able to find this quick end game. When Bill was talking, he said he saw it very last second. When Bill was talking about it. I already knew the end, and he could have gotten it quicker. He could have. I was actually just seeing that too. Yeah, he could have gotten it quicker. He could have dropped a blue down instead of putting it off to the side. And I mean, sometimes that's what you have to do. Like, you won't like that's a crazy end game to just see that that many moves ahead. But uh, if you don't know what to do, you just got to kind of do what you can and try not to block anything. Try to get combos, and sometimes you'll end up putting yourself in a position where you can, uh, where you can actually do it, where you can actually see this, uh, this end game. Uh, sometimes you just need to simplify the board a little bit to make it easier to see for yourself. Um, but yeah, even even in that even in that position, that was uh, a crazy. Even finding it that late was crazy. I didn't see it until it was over. I honestly didn't see it at all. That's huge. Uh, and obviously Don was almost done his board here. And in theory, if, if Ibar hadn't found that, he might have spent a lot more time trying to uh, get that sorted out. The last virus is always the hardest one to clear. That's what I say. But <laughs> yeah, wow, that's a huge, uh, huge find. I'm really impressed by that. That's crazy. All right. Um, we kind of commented on both players a lot. Uh, I don't know sure exactly how far. This was a long game. I'm just going to rewatch his game from here. Actually, no, let's let's go back. We've got some time. Still game three. Be fair, let's give both players the same amount of time. Ow. Oh, he's adding an extra light. Games are really fast. I'm trying to find the back and forth. This is a quick final so far. Here we go. Three, two, one, pills, game three. Don't even have room for an ad break. Combo and garbage begins. Not getting his blue yellow, but he finds this combo, so that's good. Now looking for like this horizontal here. He makes a little platform. That's great. He's gonna take it. This is really unfortunate. So he's yep gonna correctly start to break that down. Definitely. Combo wonderful. Wonder if this double yellow here couldn't have gone horizontal. Like maybe this spot here. Uh, but or even maybe like spot here maybe clear this horizontally out instead of this awkward thing or even actually what am i even saying he should have just put it right here clearly now he's got a double yellow set up maybe he can do some if he gets red yellows he can like stand them up like this blue like that got uh, a lot of sweet uh, combo opportunity here another double yellow could once he starts this, if he gets a double yellow, it even so many possible up here to complete the drop. So many possibilities here. So I don't, I yeah, don't love that, but that's okay. Because why not? Right. Because if he's playing one of the best players in the world, why not be fancy with it? Look at that combo. He's gonna set up for a not set up for the drop. Just takes it. I think a lot of like other ways that things could have been done. I don't want to be here all night, so we're not going to go too in depth on too many combo lines. I'm just trying to find like the broad strokes here. Yeah, 
actually crazy that he survives this. I was so lucky. That red garbage could have ended the game right there. We go back a second. He gets this one. If this hadn't been had been any other color, wow, he would have been in such big trouble. If this had been like yellow or blue, right in the spot where this red's gonna fall, that would have been rough. Uh, so the garbage can really change things. It's the randomness can really uh, uh, influence the outcome of the game. I feel like, but uh, yeah, sometimes it just helps you out. Which uh, I don't know. Maybe that's that's a conversation for another time. But yeah, uh, I, I mean. It's hard to analyze this. It's not like Don had any control over this, but wow. This is why it sucks to be at the top of the board this late. Why, you know, if this, like, Ibar was in such control in this early part of the game, uh, he might, he could have ended Don's entire match right here, or Don's entire game three anyway. Mover up here, but the fortune of garbage from Charity Clear. Ibar down to that second layer, just pounding away at those viruses. All the same crazy that he survives here. Just doing whatever he can. Finds a T combo, realizes he needs to. Oh, he finds a drop instead. Has a couple little routes out of that. Yeah, he's waiting game for something to open up. I mean, when you're an opportunity. Yeah, when you're up that wheel is rough. Nowhere else to put that, really. That's charity combo. So he got some garbage that sort of helped get him out of this. But that's, you know, saw an opportunity. I guess he's trying to make the horizontal, but he's trying to like set up to have a platform for his horizontal. Don's gotten a lot of charity so clears. Here. Will that help him in this long? Double blue could have gone like maybe up here. And then he has the setup and he actually gets a combo. It's not that big a deal. He puts it down here instead because he wants to build up and make a platform here. So that's not the worst. Uh, any blue pill can really go in this spot. It doesn't have to be this double blue, but it seems a kind of a shame to put it down here when literally any pill could go down here or maybe like a double blue. More appropriate, but that's fine. Oh, no, no, no. We had T there. That's another thing that we need to uh, always be on the lookout for. That would have been a huge, it would have been a a, a triple if you, if you just put this right here. Actually, not that color. <laughs> put that right here. Oh, Jeff's kiss if you see this move. that's That would be amazing. Unfortunately, uh, Don misses it, but um, what he did, if not that, it could have been like this, and then the yellow blue makes a combo here. That would have been okay too, but I mean, you just, you just take this. You just take your, you don't look the gift horse in the mouth. I'll pick the right color one day. Here we go. You just put it here. You just get it done. You send it for this sweet hammer. Well, it's not quite a hammer, but it's a thick T. You gotta. You can't be missing those. But I think the movie ends up taking is like not a. Yeah, like this is no good. You break your setup. No combo. I bet he wanted to preserve the blues for the yellow horizontal. I mean, maybe, but that's a double, and this is a triple that you can get take right now. Yes, you can save it so that you can eventually get to this yellow. But it's so it's gonna take so long to get to this yellow right here, breaking all this down. Uh, and if any garbage, if like a red piece of garbage falls here, which would actually be in the row below if after this move that he made, cool. Now it's gonna take even longer. It's just a really slow move uh, to to go for this yellow, and the yellow will open up as well when you do this. Like you can build back up to this yellow eventually. And yes, you'll have to clear this blue out here um, if you make that move, but. I mean, especially when you're behind, you just got to get combos. You got you really have to prioritize that. You can't spend too long without making combos, even though you're also trying to sort of catch up on the board. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's any move you can really make. Uh, you can really find that's any better than probably than this right here. Like you just got to take those. Got to take those combos. Can't be dropping them. Small mistakes like that uh, will cost you games for sure. Thwarted because 
Yeah, and now there's just... Wow. Still, again, this is... To be clear, this is still really impressive, the survival here. That was a sweet combo. That's going to be a quad. But yeah, this just goes to show how possible comebacks are. Uh, some small little differences, and it could have... It might have been an even closer match. Don might have even pulled it out. It wouldn't have taken very much. He he got pretty close as it is. That's another fortunate blue. Man, opens up a grip score with Don Henders Ward. Find this combo here. That's great. Oh my, was that harmful garbage from mm. Don? That's obviously a misdrop. We know this. This is either meant to be one to the left or flipped around the other way. But actually, I wanted to talk about the double blue before that. If I can find it, nope. Let's go back a little bit more. Oh my. Was that harmful? This double blue here. Like, it's, it should have been here. And then you have a T set up. Obviously, that's not easy to find. But again, this is another example of, like, look for T combos. Because they're sick. <laughs> and especially when you get a double, you just think to yourself, like, I should really consider if I can make a T with this or a horizontal or something. There's a lot more of trying to survive and less about analyzing. Way more reaction than thought. Oh, of course, Don. Like in a real game, like obviously, like I said earlier, we have the we have the luxury of being able to pause the game and think about it. Um, I'm whenever I call it a move like this, generally speaking, it's a move that I saw in the moment as I was watching the game unfold. Um, so it's it's something that you know it's not impossible to see this sort of stuff in real play. Obviously, if you're not looking for it, it's it's not something you're going to find if you're not actively looking for this sort of thing on a general basis. But yeah, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to criticize the fact like, obviously, it's way harder to see this stuff in live than it is uh, than it is just pausing and thinking it out. It's not a fan of the analysis being stupid moves should be X instead. No, I get that. Uh, but that's the thing we have to like, I, I only point out mistakes because that's how we learn. You know, that's how we get better. Um, Obviously, the point, of the lesson of this is to look for T's and uh, maybe prioritize combos, setups more. Um, obviously, like again, I said this in the first one. It's not about you know demeaning anybody. It's not about like uh, disparaging people's play. But I am going to point out mistakes when I see them and when I think that they are relevant and really important uh, because uh, they, you know, that's how we learn and that's how you know it can teach both people playing if they're watching and then just everyone else who's watching. Uh, that's why you make it as simple as possible when you're at the top of the board. Yeah, that's fair. Also, shout out to Snipe. How's it going, man? <laughs> Is that garbage for Don? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look how fast he keeps from falling. You lay up the board like that. It is hard to maneuver. But watch out, Ivar Cone six though. Oh, it's not. It's not wow, really nice good. fat log into a quad. Now things are looking a lot better. The right side isn't great, but the the uh, the center's open. A lot of combo opportunities are happening. And uh, in the meantime, I I mean I know we analyzed it a moment ago, but like you know, Ibar was way down here, and now he's way up here. And sometimes it doesn't take much. An easy combo here. That was great. Bring down the edge like that. I mean, it's amazing gameplay, but the situation was I'm sweating and I'm not even playing. set up for Ivar nailed. And just I just want to stop here just to make a note, not of any particular move, but like like I said before, the maybe about two or three minutes ago, Don was way up at the top of the board, like way up here. And Ibar was way at the bottom. And in about two or so minutes, that entire situation is flipped. And then in the end, Ibar is actually going to come back and, and win this, as we saw earlier. So, yeah. Uh, 
just to hammer the point home, don't be discouraged when you have a really messy board like this. It's not impossible to win um, these kinds of situations. Both players in this match have proved that for sure. Nice find actually on this combo. Thought it was a setup break, but it was actually end up being a drop. That's pretty good. That horizontal as well. That this garbage is falling. I'm thinking of putting the double yellow right here. Hopefully that's what we see. Um, just well. I mean, you could also put it like right here, I suppose, but this will help us clear this column. It gives us sort of a double setup. Another double yellow is a combo, a yellow blue is a combo, and we just have more options that way. We, uh, let's see here. Yeah, and there you go. There's the yellow blue. And he gets a rip out of it, actually. A nice find too. This is what yeah, that's what you need to do. I just keep finding combos at the bottom of the board. Eventually, you just kind of run out of ammo, and it's a lot more difficult. But uh, John's doing really well here, given that. Uh, well, well, we're not quite at the point yet where he's run out of things, but he's he's not uh, squandering any combos in here at the bottom of the board. At least very good. Go for the T here. Yeah, I like that. I'll take it. That's good. I think it's a drop too. That's awesome. Um, yeah. And now this end game here. I mean, Ibar sort of drilled down quite a bit at this point. Um, I wonder, like, even at this point in Ibar's, I just want to go back to his board for a second. You can see with that finish that we saw with the uh, the big horizontal dropping the blue down here. Obviously, the reds here, and that it's like, well, how am I going to clear that out? But I wonder, like, if you could have even seen it from this point. If you if you could actually do that, that would be crazy. Uh, but you know, there's some players who are so good. I don't even doubt that they, maybe they could. But yeah, this end game looks tough for both players here. Well, that's great. Out, and now he's going for his. Uh... Oh, that's an interesting play. This this yellow is going to block him. He could have had that if he had just put this double red here. You did have the. Uh... What if it's better to take the reds by clearing the blue and yellow? Wait. I wonder if it's better to take the reds by clearing the blue. Let me go back. I'm not sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. If it would be better to just take the blue and yellow out here. He's talking about the blue and yellow here and maybe just clearing these horizontally just going like this at some point somehow uh and then these reds fall down and clear it yeah that's an option i mean trying to have pill efficiency but i mean if you're getting double yellows i mean you did have a chance to get this yellow i guess but i don't think it's that bad i mean you had a chance to get at least one of the reds and then I mean, there's no reason you can't go for both plans, I suppose. Like, you can, you know, it just really depends what pills you get. If you get, yellow, if you get reds to make the horizontal, you do that. If you get the appropriate blue yellows to clear these out horizontally, then you do that. Um, sometimes you can't always do the plan you want. The trash blocked it, though. Yeah, I mean, the trash here blocks it, yes. But if he clears this red out right here, then this blue will drop down. And now this red is open to be cleared horizontally again, so... That's why I was going to say before the yellow garbage drop, this double red going up here, I would be I, assuming this is like because you wanted to drop it down onto this red once you clear this here. 
instead of for possible future trash and two three yeah exactly because that'll make it way more difficult um yeah it's debatable i guess what would be better obviously in this case i would have gone for a double red fat log yeah yeah that would have been an option too i guess you could have done like maybe double i assume you're talking about doing a move like that with this double red instead and now if you get another double red or if you get yellow reds to like maybe do like some drop down action here not that one <laughs> to do this here then you can uh, you can drop it down and get a full uh, fat log that would have been awesome that's a huge setup yeah i mean there's a lot of ways you could have tackled this I, it's just it is unlucky that the yellow garbage drops here if that doesn't happen this blue red pill i would have put in the third column vertically this blue red pill Then the double red, I would put it in the second column. I think I get okay. I think I see what Snipe is saying. You could put red here, blue here, and then you would put red like this. Yeah, I mean you could do that too. This blue is, is unfortunately blocking things horizontally. That's true. I don't remember if this was open when this was placed here. If if we were like if this was just placed here, or if this is from several moves ago before we were even thinking about this. We can go back and look. Oh yeah, it must have been. I guess these yellows get knocked out at some point. Probably on this move here, yeah. And then you're talking about this move here. This blue-red could have... I mean... I'd, yeah, I don't hate that move, actually, to just uh, to illustrate... Uh, to just put the blue-red like... Or, sorry, not like that. <laughs> put the blue-red like this. I mean, you're relying on getting two double reds here. I guess you could maybe use this blue and this yellow to like drop them in, but... I don't know. That seems pretty ambitious to me. That falls vi exactly. It falls victim to garbage in two or four, and if it happens, it's really rough. I actually kind of like just playing it safe. But if any, you know, this the the nice thing about this move is it does set you up to make a combo again. Which again, even at the end of the game, even in this position, you're still happy to drop garbage on Ibar here for sure. So, yeah, I I kind of get it. I get what you're saying. I think both. This is one of those situations that's really hard to analyze, I would say. I don't know if it's better to go one way or the other on this. Um, I'm not going to try to keep thinking about it because we could be here all night talking about this move, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, both options make sense. Like, I don't even hate Don's move. I don't think Don's move is that much worse because, yeah, it's trying to take safe and take bottom first and the top second. I don't think that's horrible, especially given that you really want to make sure that these get cleared away. Um, the. Uh, the downside of that is that you're not comboing, which is definitely something to consider. Um, but the way that's like the way that Snipe is suggesting that we do it is definitely uh, a lot more, um, definitely a lot more uh, risky. Because if any garbage, if we get like yellow, if this happens, obviously not in one garbage drop, but if we get blue or here or yellow here or something like that, um, then things get a lot trickier. I think maybe the argument is that even if this happens, then you can just, as long as you can clean it up with combos, then that might be fine. But I totally, honestly, if it were me, I probably would take the safe bet as well. That's just my, that could be wrong, but that's what I would do too, I think. But uh, Snipe is pretty good, so definitely worth considering what he has to say. That was unfortunate. And then I believe you take the combo here, which I totally agree with. Get a little more garbage here. And I guess this does end up working out, right? Because you'll get... I don't think you get blocked again. Get this. The red drops down exactly where you wanted. Then you get the red. So, definitely safe. And honestly, if I was looking over at the shape of Ibar's board, I probably would not be thinking, oh, man, I really have to hurry, because I would never see... You can't really see that. You probably think he's way further off his endgame than he actually is, so... I don't hate that, to be honest. Here I play the right side bad, too. Um, Yeah, there's probably some things to analyze here. Let me look. I know this double yellow happened. Maybe it could have been... Well, you're just trying to build a, a platform, so that actually makes perfect sense. You're trying to get it vertically, but... It's even this is difficult to do this vertically. So maybe the double yellow should have just been horizontal and start like a little horizontal situation. Maybe you put the double yellow like here or not that. Yes, instead. Quick 
Lance and the blue buried in seven looks safe. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, obviously you're trying to focus on your board. You don't have time to really look at this, but you see like all of this nonsense. You see like this blue down here and this red over here. You're probably thinking I have a bit of time. I'm probably ahead, but even though, I mean, that end game obviously puts him way ahead of you, but you wouldn't know that looking just glancing uh, quickly while trying to play the game. So build up to clear everything from the bottom instead of desandwiching. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that uh, that's okay. The only issue I have with building up because you just, just because it's a double yet, like if this is any other pill, you can just make a platform and start to clear vertically. Like you need yellow here, here, and here in these spots in order to make this clear from underneath. If this was yellow, anything. It's interesting that some folks choose not to screen watch. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't think. I think people will assume that like screen watching is too difficult, but you don't have to like fully register the entire board position that your opponent has. You can just, I just look at like when I do it, I look at the general shape to try to get a vague idea of where I stand and how far ahead or behind I might be. I'm not like looking for end games on my opponent's board like that. That'd be crazy. I mean, there's only one screen to watch, so that's easier in Dr. Mario. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, sorry to get sidetracked here. So yeah, like if this yellow, double yellow here, if this was yellow blue or something, you can just go like this and now you're set up to clear this yellow. But specifically because you got the double yellow, I would think either you put it maybe horizontally like this, although this is susceptible to garbage. Um, the other option would be maybe just to dump it down here just to get until you get a different pill, like a blue yellow or double blue or something, a red yellow after you clear these out to maybe clear from underneath. This double yellow is just kind of really awkward. For the plan you were trying to do the w is exactly what made me think about the d sandwich yeah so yeah i think this double yellow is really awkward unfortunately and uh, this isn't horrible but um it does make now that you've done this it actually makes the the um the vertical clear really awkward you're kind of hoping for a double because even if you put this like obviously you're going to clear the reds but let's say you got another dale red after that you put it here now if you put a yellow in this spot you're going to clear out your platform and it's no good. I put the column double yellow vertical on column five, set up a combo. Yeah, it's probably better actually to just put it here and set up the combo. Then you can see the red is still exposed. Um, and then any blue yellow sets up a combo. That's probably the best move. You're right, Packy. Um, if you're super set on endgame, you could try to get this horizontally. But yeah, I think that's honestly the best option for sure. Now that I think about it. Yeah, very simple. Need a half yellow to set up the underclear on column eight. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I know my end games are really bad in general. Well, that's okay. That's something to work on. Um, um, I would say that if you, well, I mean, I know Don. I know you do a lot of speed running, obviously, but that's just a general note to to anybody. One of the great things about speed running is it really does teach you end games. Like you, you have to learn that quite a bit. And it's easy because in versus, if you're playing against someone way better than you, you might just lose by top out a lot and never even get to practice doing end games. But in speed running, even if you're just starting out and you don't have a very good time, you will always eventually get to the end of the level and you'll have to figure, you'll get practice at, at doing end games and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I've always said that I think having a little practice in both disciplines is pretty good. Um, especially if you're just starting out. Just to see what you like, and also because speedrunning is a lot much lower pressure environment than versus. Versus has helped with my end game. Really, that's interesting. I I mean I guess once you've been playing for a long time and you you you're a little more practiced, then yeah. Again, I think there's a lot to learn about speedrunning and versus from playing each other. So, uh, that's my little tip. Yeah, you should you should give both a shot because you'll learn uh, you'll just learn more about this game in general, even if they're very different. They have a lot of common themes and skills that uh, that are definitely transferable. Anyway, that's definitely what I would do with the double yellow. Let's keep breaking this end game down. And the yellow red goes here. That's fine. And this yellow, he does the yeah. So you do this, but unfortunately, it's uh, I see what, maybe what you were going for now. I see what you mean because now this red, if it comes out, you get to well, not even so. Obviously, these yellows are not going to make a clear because this red is in the way. And I think what you're trying to say is, well, if I can just take this out horizontally and de-sandwich here, now these double yellows are exposed and I can put uh, the yellows here and I'm done. Unfortunately, the problem is unless you get exactly double yellow, 
any uh any yellow pill you put here clears this bottom virus and it's going to take a bit longer it's not the worst because you'll still be able to get this underneath as well it'll take a bit longer but uh i think if you could have taken it i mean you're it, it's the same either way like this just ends up riding everything on this double red and the d sandwich is probably just not worth how difficult it's going to be to do because you're going to have to build out like a platform or not like that but like a platform here no <laughs> you have to build a platform here uh and then or not there can't be there and then you're going to have to build up like this and then if garbage falls on top and you get like a blue here you didn't want now it's a whole thing and you don't really have any combos set up then that yellow to 3 is bad uh yellow to 3 oh i see what you mean like setting these yellows to 3 yeah it's not amazing Again, this double yellow from the beginning really just sort of what was very awkward. Um, it probably should have just been better off. Literally, yes, Packy's move of making the combo is good. It would have been better to even just dump it off to the side, accomplishing nothing than what ended up happening. Because I think this really seemed innocuous, but it really made this endgame way more complicated than it needed to be, unfortunately. Uh, in the moment, obviously, you see a yellow, you really want to, you wanted to get it involved. But in this very specific position, it's, it was just very awkward. But anyway, and then I think uh, this is good because now you're setting up the double because you kind of identified this vertical is not going to be great, but he finds his ending. So that's okay. Yeah, there was probably better that you could have played this, but I think his end, the fact that he found that endgame kind of sealed it up. And if he hadn't found it, then you probably would have had enough time to just do basically whatever, and optimizing this wouldn't have really made a difference. So... It is worth thinking about, though, because you'll play games where it does matter, definitely. <laughs> but uh, in this case, I don't think it really cost you the game or anything, because he just had a sweet uh, end game, and you had had no way of knowing that if you had just glanced over and seen the shape that he had going on there. That was uh, just an awesome find by Ibar. Not much you can do about that, I don't think. All right, let's go into what I believe is our last game. Quick one. <laughs> Notice the chat is a little off. I'm just going to fix that a little bit. Sorry. A little bit. Oh. I'm able to move the chat over. Sorry about that. That's been off all night. That's unfortunate. Perfect. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Let's one get into this last game. There's a nice long one, so now we can put our All right. Double yellow is our opener. Where do we want to put this double yellow? Um, honestly, seems as good as any move. You get a yellow-red double setup in the center. Um, going vertical with this doesn't really help anything. You could decide to put it on the side here. Practice on the edge is cool, but it doesn't get you a combo, which is really what you're aiming for at the start. So I think this is a pretty clear brief. Today I learned I can right-click my mouse to make marks on the screen. But anyway, <laughs> you can uh, double yellow here. Uh, I think that's just the move you make. Uh, I don't really see anything else. I don't know if you have any possessions. Depending on the next pill, I might have gone horizontally on 5-6. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You could go like this. And then if you get a double red or something, especially if you see the double red, you have a combo right off the bat because now you can put it here. The yellows drop down into the top. That's true. That's pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, it's probably worth delaying your move just to see what the next pill is. I don't think it was a double red. The yellow blue. Interesting that you go like this here. Um, I think this probably was a missed drop, though. Anyway, we're looking at Ibar's screen first, so I'm not going to comment too much over here until we get to come back to this. But um, that's the move Ibar makes. He's got a setup here. This double blue will probably go here, um, and uh, red, red blue will go. The, sorry, the double blue will go here, and then the red blue will probably just go like that, um, and then we'll see what they play from there. We just had a string of good finals. 
uh, in all of our regionals this year, and this is shaping up to be another one. Ooh. Oh, no, he made a combo anyway. That's fine. <laughs> thought Ibar missed a combo there and broke his setup, but he actually got it. Just did it a different way. This game played its highest level is just so fun to watch. Oh, Without really seeing what's going on on Don's screen, it looks like he's not really getting a lot of pressure here, uh -oh. so I don't know if that's just because Ibar got Lightning. that early advantage. There's a little bit of relief, but still... Okay. Another one of those games. Where Ibar gets that early advantage and just snowballs it. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, you just cannot let good players do this. This is why combo getting combos is so important versus, like, I've said it before. I've said it uh, watching Betty. I said it earlier in this uh, set as well. But, like, if, uh, if, you let, if you don't get combos, obviously, you know, you always try to, and sometimes it's very difficult. But um, this just goes to show how important it is because if you let this happen... And obviously looking over the board, it's pretty jumbled. It's probably not even Don's fault that it's like this. It's just that the garbage uh, stopped him from making combos and it just snowballed into this. So, yeah. Get your combos. Don't leave your any combos on the table. You need every combo you can get. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh! And yeah, he'll top out really quick, unfortunately. And that's it! So there's not much to say on Ibar's side outside of that opening. But let's see what Don could have maybe done better. Try to survive this. What a final so far. Absolutely. Went back and forth for those two or three times, I think. And... Yeah, no, it's, it's for two to one. Yeah, Don wants the decider. Don wants the decider. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. I think we all are watching Don. Let's go in three, two, one, pills. There's a nice long one. So now we can put oh, this double yellow ends up getting put like that. Um, again, yeah, I thought Ibar's move was kind of the one we talked about. Um, even maybe John that Flindo's move would have been good here, but yeah, that probably is the beginning of it. Although you do get, uh, it doesn't, you do get a nice uh, blue yellow set up here for this blue yellow. So I'm assuming that's what you're gonna try to do, and then this misdrop. I'm assuming this is a misdrop. Yeah, this might just be a case of a misdrop uh, snowballing into a problem. That's unfortunate. There's not really much you can talk about there. Obviously, you know, don't misdrop. Not very helpful. Nice. But uh, yeah, and then he just keeps up the garbage. Yeah, it's a, a, an early misdrop but in the opening is so rough. I could, I would say, obviously the garbage blocks it here, but this double red maybe might have been better as a uh, setup here, so that you can start comboing and coming back. That's the kind of thing you have to look for in these situations. Obviously, you want to survive, but sometimes survival is not good enough. Getting a looking for combo opportunities while you're trying to survive will give you a couple of seconds of stun lock on your opponent's side so that you can sort of start to make moves uncontested and maybe block off their opportunities. It can give you a lot of room to breathe. So even when you're trying to survive, looking for combo opportunities like this is so important. So I think that would have been better. Obviously, it did not matter because this red falls here anyway and blocks you off. Um, definitely something to keep in mind. That garbage is especially uh -oh. rough, and now this column, he just keeps getting it in the center column. That's so unfortunate. So we're going to knock this down. That's bad. So this is... And you just keep getting center column here. Now you just have no room to do anything. You could, yeah, and then that was obviously an input error as well. Yeah, that was rough. I mean, that can happen sometimes, you guys. Sometimes... Your opponent, like you, you, you make one small mistake at the beginning, and then your opponent keeps co getting combos in the same center column over and over again, and just gets really lucky, and uh, it really makes it difficult to come back from that, and puts you in those really tough spots. I mean, that's just sort of the nature of the game. You can't really do anything about that. Uh, luck is real in this game, and that's sort of, especially in the opening, I find like sometimes early garbage can be so damaging, and stuff like that happening. I, I, I mean, I mentioned the one move, but honestly. Other than just playing out of your mind, I don't really know what else you could have done. That was a pretty rough game for you. Other than, you know, correcting that early mistake. Um, yeah, the opening is so important. Uh, if you don't know, if, if there's nothing else to practice, practice your opening. Because sometimes you'll just win games like Ibar did there. Um, you just get an early lead, you get lucky garbage, and your one just tops out. And that's the end of it. And that's a quick game in your hands. Um, yeah, Don, I, I don't really have any other... Uh, <laughs> 
advice on that one like that garbage is just really rough on you i mean we could go back and really try to pick apart some small marginal things maybe you could have done differently but um yeah that was just really rough garbage you got there i think i don't really know what else could have been done um beyond that initial mistake and misdrop so that's just, just an unfortunate game sometimes those games happen and they get away from you um but yeah that'll be the end of it and that's ibar taking the uh the kentucky ibar regional um, i don't know if he's still here listening but if you are congratulations ibar um, you did play some sick uh, games there. That game, f uh, the game three end game find, that was huge. Well done on that. That was the highlight of the night for me. I didn't see that coming at all. That took me completely by surprise. So congratulations there. Wow. Yeah, and that's the uh, that's the end of that. Uh, had like three quick games and a really long one too. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the analysis. Um, it was a pretty exciting game. That game three was a really good one, too. It's unfortunate that uh, I think two of the games that Don lost were to uh, just early mistakes leading into some really rough RNG. But, uh, I mean, that's just what had, how it happens sometimes. Uh, only thing to really take away from that is uh, practice uh, openings. You know, uh if you want a good way to practice openings, personally for me, that's something I practiced a lot um, earlier this year. And because I, I kind of identified as like, I think the opening seems really important and I'm kind of not focused on that as much as I should be. Uh, anyone who has tried, and I'm sure some people in here know what what I'm talking about, but if anyone here has tried the exact seems versus trainer, that is my favorite way to practice openings more than anything. Um, the newest version that they have now that he's released now um, is r way better, way closer to playing a real opponent. But if um, even the old version that I played back in January when I was trying to practice for Texas, it was unrealistic in a lot of ways, but it was so good for practicing the opening because you just get uh, to sort of set the the um, opponent's level to whatever sort of difficulty you want to, to practice on in your opening. And then you just practice on finding opening moves, finding early combos and playing as fast as possible. And you can just, honestly, even if you just play like the first 20 to 30 seconds of a game and then just reset and start over, you could just grind openings over and over again. Uh, obviously, that's not the whole game, but if you just want a quick fire way to practice that particular skill, it's so good for that. I would recommend it uh, in general. It is a, sort of an alternative to, you know, playing people if you don't have anyone to play with or there's no one online on Fightcade or, or Switch Online. Um the versus trainer i unfortunately i don't know where to find it i don't know if it's up on romhacking.net or where i know that the exact seems made it available in the discord server it's not really easy to point you to that um but that versus trainer I, it's helped me a lot with uh with practicing certain skills and just getting better at versus in general i highly recommend it especially for opening practice um especially the new version now too um is really good with uh it's just more realistic to like a real opponent so you could use it to practice basically anything and just play practice matches against the bot just to get used to playing in um the two player mode uh environment and uh just practicing making decisions and playing in an actual game scenario against someone who's actually dropping garbage on you uh, because one player is great but the garbage really changes everything you it's it's a really difficult skill to practice and and that's something versus trainer can help you with as well this was fun um like i said at the top of the stream i'm going to be doing this on a weekly basis i think um my current plan right now is to do a review stream every monday on except for any week where the monthly checkup is happening so any monthly checkup tuesdays uh we will not be doing a review or anything like that uh i think a monday review stream into a tuesday tournament would be a lot a lot for me to handle um, and it also gives me a bit of a break from reviews especially so if i don't have a lot of great matches we're not gonna have another regional to analyze for a while um if anyone has any suggestions for maybe um anything in um i don't know what to say you know, suggestions for matches from the regionals other than the finals none of them come to mind for me uh in particular but if any if uh, if there's a particular match that anybody knows of that's uh, um, really sweet or anything like that, uh, definitely let me know. You can just uh, let me know in the uh, the Discord server. You can DM me or you can uh, post it in the monthly checkup um, there. Love if you did me versus Barrett at Washington. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah, I do have the Washington finals to review. I also have there's could have been some other matches. Um, I will try to do um many what is going on here? I'm trying to sorry guys. Yeah, if if anyone has any suggestions like that, just let me know. I'm sure there's some other games that I can do from the regionals. But also, I think I'm also going to be doing VOD reviews from the monthly checkup tournaments um, because they are just easily available. And uh, there's usually, like, I think it's one of the most stacked tournaments that you could play in. So there's always really good matches. And there's also players that we don't see at live regionals that I'd really like to feature in reviews and, and will give us some really good games that we can really dig into. So uh, I will, you know... I'll just, I'll make up my mind when it comes down to it. But if you have any suggestions on matches, that would be great for analysis. Um, preferably games where that are you know longer than, like don't send me a game where your opponent tops out three times in a row in a minute and a half each time. Because like we're not going to review a five minute vod obviously. But if there's any games that have uh, some good meat to them, or if you had any specific questions about, it, just let me know and uh, I'll consider it for sure. But other than that, uh, we are going to uh, call it there. Thank you all so much. Um, be safe, stay warm, and until next time.